Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. Two years after dumping the PDP for the APC, former Delta State Governor Emmanuel Odwaha has returned to the All to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Odwaha announced his exit from the APC on Monday and was received back into the PDP at his ward in Agboroda Ward 6 in Wari North. Confirming his exit on his Twitter handle, the former governor wrote, quote, I am back to join forces with other party greats to strengthen our party, the largest party in Africa, PDP. Udwaha joined the APC in August of 2018. A year later, he went on to contest for the Delta South Senatorial District election, but lost to James' manager. Another batch of 70 stranded Nigerian girls evacuated from Lebanon by the federal government have arrived at the Nnam Diazikiwe International Airport. The girls who arrived on Sunday were received by a spokesperson for the Lebanese community in Nigeria, Philip Webb. Webb revealed that 470 Nigerian ladies have been so far evacuated from Lebanon and appreciated the Nigerian government for their efforts in securing the return of the girls back home. The Federal High Court in Abuja has awarded 50 million naira in favor of the woman assorted by Senator Elisha Abu. Abu had in 2019 slapped one Osimi Bibra Wamate repeatedly during the misunderstanding at a sex toy store in Abuja. A video of the incident, which went viral, caused public uproar, with many calling for his sack in the Senate. The judgment is coming months after a magistrate court dismissed the charges against Abu for lack of evidence. Labour leaders and members of the civil society in Edo State have rejected the decision of the national leadership of the organized labor to suspend its planned nationwide strike. The state chapter, led by its chairman, Sonny Osayande, and TUC counterpart, Masha Ohua, occupied the King Square Arena in Benin City, the state capital, in protest. According to the displeased labor members, the decision to suspend the planned strike action was hurriedly taken by the national leaders without consultation with the National Executive Council members and key stakeholders across the country. Oil prices dipped on Monday as rising coronavirus cases upset hopes for a smooth recovery in fuel demand. Brent crude fell 37 cents to $41.55 a barrel, while U.S. crude was at $39.86 a barrel, down by 39 cents. Brent is on track to fall for the first month in six, while U.S. crude is heading for its first monthly loss since April, as a reimposition of mobility curbs in some countries cloud the outlook on fuel demand recovery. Sri Lanka has shipped 21 containers of waste back to Britain after they were found to contain hazardous material. Customs officials said the containers first arrived by ship in the capital, Colombo's main port, in many of the containers imported by a private firm between 2017 and 2018. Officials said the shipment was meant to be made up of used mattresses, carpets, and rugs for potential recycling, but had also contained hospital waste. Sri Lanka said the original importation violated international laws governing the shipping of hazardous materials, adding that it is working to secure compensation from those responsible for getting the containers into the country. The Miami Heat reached the NBA Finals for the first time since 2014 as a 125 to 113 win over the Boston Celtics wrapped up a 4-2 series victory. The defeat was the Celtics' third Eastern Conference final loss in four years. Meanwhile, three-time NBA champions will play Western Conference winners Los Angeles Lakers in the best of seven finals with game one on Wednesday. And as the latest from the newsroom at this time, many thanks for watching.